Hi Scorpio, welcome to your week ahead Tarascope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign, check them out for all three so that you know which part of you I resonate with most as a reader. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week you have dun, 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 your the Hierophant. All right so this week first things first I want to say like if you need some instruction as to what to do or how to move through this week start getting organized right get your routines your rituals get all of your you know cross your t's dot your i's all of that kind of stuff but start building a structure into your days right especially if there's a lot on or you know that this is going to be a busy week it really is through some kind of order uh you know bringing some kind of order to your life or your world that you really are going to advance this week now the other thing with the hierophant card this has a decidedly you know it can be very religious right so and you know ultimately what are our routines and rituals they are a form of religion because they're things that we do you know consistently that we require that we lean on etc right and truth be told maybe this week as well it really is about looking at where your spiritual path and spiritual practice are and how they are actually enhancing or informing your life in some way shape or form now for your actions and options you've got the five of pentacles so so this week if you are approaching a financial institution for money resources etc this is not the day for it i got a bit of the week for it right the five of pentacles does suggest a financial loss the hierophant card would literally be the bank so financially this week if there's something that you require or something that you need this is not the week to go for it because it won't go your way i'm really sorry to say that when it comes to uh, the options that are available to you asking for help and looking towards your faith or some kind of spiritual um, assistance is really the way forward. Now, the Hierophant card is number five, obviously, uh, well, and then obviously the number five of pentacles is also a five. So two fives represents a vigil. And this week, I would say this is a vigil in the true sense of the word, right? So you're Oh, the option this week is for you to ask for assistance or support in a way that you feel is going to be beneficial and more importantly to lean on or into your spirituality to get what it is that you need for your communications and conversations you've got the knight of pentacles what are we seeing so far here right the hierophant card is taurus energy You've got the Five of Pentacles, the, the Knight of Pentacles. This is all Earth, right? So this is going to be, certainly for you guys anyway, uh, this is likely to be a slower, more sort of, and especially like, look at what's happening in the sky at the moment. You know, Uranus, Mars, Uranus conjunction on Algol is really taking up, you know, all it's the whole echo chamber at this moment in time. So, you know, it's really taking up a lot of uh, what's going on and it's because it's such a big deal. But for you guys, it looks like you're dealing with this in a very slow, steady, measured way. And that might be literally just to re release or to let go of what is superfluous in your life. Now, the Knight of Pentacles as a communications, be very measured in your words this week, right? Really think long and hard about what you're going to say, what you're going to share, what you need to, right? The other thing is uh, the Knight of Pentacles is a movement card, right? It's a vehicle, basically. So this could be a week where you're zipping around your local area in some way, shape or form. If you are studying or in some form of academia, this could be where you're having to do some kind of... Ooh, excuse me. Ooh. Ooh, some kind of professional um, gymnastics effectively to secure the resources that you need, uh, especially for like the longer term. For those of you that are employed by somebody else, it's possible that a way that this shows up for you um, is... <sighs> you might be expected to commute further afield. Now, while you can't see the immediate benefit of this, especially if it's like training or anything like that, in the long run, 
it really will serve you well, right? Now, on a more mundane level than that, if you have a problem or a challenge with your car or your vehicle, go to your employer and tell them what the issue is because it, you might find that they come up or come, come through for you in a way that you don't expect. If you are a business owner, entrepreneur, solopreneur, person that works for themselves, I actually really like this for you getting very clear on what you're removing from your business this week, right? It's not really about adding more. This is about you getting really clear about what does or doesn't make it into the fold and just kind of really sort of being very okay with that. And actually, it's going to clarify and simplify everything. And I feel like that's what you get from this week as a business owner. You simplify, you clarify, and things really start to move. So I love that. For those of you that are um, retired and no longer working, again, there's some, and it's possible as well that this week you're traveling for either your health or for somebody else's. It's like you're going to a hospital or a place that is considered like a specialist place for whatever challenge or issue you might have going on. All right, for uh, your love and relations, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. So I've got a Taurus woman here who shows up for you very strong. Queen of Pentacles, Hierophant card, Taurus woman, right? Now, um, what I will say is, if for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitment, your physical health and vitality may need some kind of support this week. And it, my advice to you would be, don't sleep on this, all right? Get it done, get it looked at, get it seen to. And it may very well be that, because the Hierophant card would be traditional medicine, but the Queen of Pentacles is usually open to more sort of earth-based, nature-based kind of stuff. So, you know, it might be that this week through a blending of spirituality, uh, modern medicine and, uh, you know, ancient medicine and herbal wisdom that actually you find the answer or the cure. For those of you that are single and looking to mingle, um, one of the ways that this might show up is uh, in a really mundane space you meet somebody and you'll be on your travels anyway, right? So it's like maybe through your work, you end up at a place that you never been before or wouldn't usually go to and you end up connecting with somebody there who could be an earth sign person. For your money and materials, so she's very, look, there's so much Taurus energy in this spread. There's no getting around it, right? A Taurus, the energy of Taurus, Taurus people, Taurus energy is all over these cards. Now, the Empress coupled with the Hierophant, that's somewhat more beneficial, right? So as I say, this might not be the ideal week to apply for finance, but there is a financial boost coming from or through a woman here. Um, the Empress is usually like a universal significator for women. It's also luxury and joy and pleasure. So you're spending time and resources in a place that is somewhat more traditional, but has like a lot of beauty about it. So I really love this for you. Um, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, look, I'm not a doctor, I can't give you medical advice, this is not a diagnosis, but your thyroid, right? If you have had problems with this or you are prone to them this week, I would absolutely get it checked out. Maybe get one of those blood tests that you can order, etc. This would be a week to really get the inside knowledge on that stuff. When it comes to your home and environment, this week you'll be working on the garden. If you don't have a garden, it will be your balcony. If you don't have a balcony, this will be your external windows. Maybe it's your front door. Maybe it's your porch if you have one. It's like the external aspect of the home is what you're working on this week and you're beautifying the home this week. It's like you're bringing, part of you is bringing the outside in. So that could be really nice. And uh, another way that this also potentially shows up <laughs> is that you're getting, um, you're just bringing more lush life into your home, right? So you're making it a bit more of a, a bit more of a sanctuary. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.